welcome back to the channel today i'm going to share with you how um, we can add a different field that's not only just a text field because in reality we have so many kinds of fields we have those that are text we have numbers we have um what you would call option boxes or select where you have a drop down so i want us to try to add a drop down uh, to our checkout page that is relatively new so let's dive into the code so I'm going to use uh, the old plugin that we used to create our passport checkout field, this very one. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of code to make it usable. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just copy this same function, uh, which is going to <coughs> get, which is collecting the passport field. So I'll copy this and just paste it down. And I'll add some comments so that uh, we don't get lost along the way. So add a select box option to check out so what we're going to do is I uh, just paste this here so after pasting this here we're going to change this field and today we're going to be adding a field that actually gives us maybe the option of uh, transport let's say Instead of using a cab, maybe they would like to use a bike or they would like to use a skateboard or whatever it is. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we've changed um, our ID so that we don't have any errors. And then we'll ask a question, how do you want to move? And that is our question. The next thing that we'll do is uh, we need to change our type of text into a select box. Let's say we we'll want to style it differently. So We'll add another option for uh, let's say transport field uh, that's what we'll use and then what we're going to be asking is we will require it to be true but also we're going to have a default uh, that is coming in from what we had saved before but in most cases uh, at this point you want to actually have a default that is going to be one of the options that you're giving so the first thing that we shall do is actually add an options argument so the options that we're going to have are number one we need to it's supposed to be in an array form because we're going to add a number of options so we need to have it as an array then inside the array is where we can start to add the different fields so let's say if we're going to provide a bike or bicycle that is green and eco-friendly so we have a bike add also that as an option so bicycle what we'll see on the front end then let me just duplicate this over so we'll have a taxi which is our option so we have a taxi uh, maybe we want them to share and we'll have a shuttle then we'll give another option maybe so they'll have a bus uh, this will be the office shuttle so office shuttle and then we have this coming in as office shuttle so uh, we have the option so what I'm going to do is uh, actually default to office shuttle so that every time someone actually comes to check this they should be able to make an option and choose so let's save that go back to the front end and reload we'll see that we actually have a new field here it looks a little bit different from these so if we were to inspect this element you'll actually see that we have um, the select box in there we have the value and our value selected is always going to be shuttle field until we change it so we have our options here of bicycle we have taxi we have the office shuttle uh, we have a battle uh, whatever that is so that's bus so I'll just reload this after making those changes to our bus uh, we now have the bus right here bicycle taxi office shuttle all that is actually available so to save your data over this new field that we've just created all you have to do is uh, come back to this code and use a similar code that we used in our uh, previous video so we can be able to catch the post of uh, what information has been saved and then send it through using the 
kind of ID that you've created here. So please watch the video that was before to make it uh, work out for you. Um, it will be a wonderful experience. Let me know how you go through this. We are ready and that's how you add the extra field that is uh, an option or a drop down in your WooCommerce. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it was really short. Uh, please like the video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, uh, to keep up to date with when I release new videos for you to watch.